Good morning, this is Robin Kirby Gatto. It is Walking with Wisdom. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited about what I get to share today. I usually talk about the self-image and I talk about in my health and wellness ministry that God's given me, I talk about, of course, mental health, emotional health, occupational health, relationship health. I talk about spiritual health, which we're gonna get into today, amen and all kinds of other areas that are in your life that are causing you to become the person who you are. And we want to go from glory to glory, amen? And so, hey, hey Sue Gailey, I love you. So one of the things that we're gonna look at today, oh my goodness, is the spirit, is our spirit man. And we see in Luke 180, John the Baptist grew strong in spirit. We see in Luke 240, Jesus grew strong in spirit, which means, the strongest part of our person is our spirit. Why? Because we're spirit led. We're not led by what our eyes see, by what our ears hear. But as it says about the prophecy of Messiah, Jesus Christ in Isaiah 11, 3, 4, 5, that he will delight in the fear of the Lord and God will make him a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. That is so Jesus grew strong in spirit, amen and that he would not judge by his own eyes or his own hearing, but with righteousness, he should judge and be able to distribute equity to the poor, to the downtrodden, to the meek. And so that emphasizes that Jesus was strong in spirit, although he was son of God, son of man in the flesh, that the strongest part of him was God, the spirit. And so it's the same with us, that we have to grow strong in spirit. And so one of the things, let me just stop because, I'm just so excited. I don't want to get out of breath while I'm walking. So one of the things, as we grow strong in spirit, one of the things that happens to me and has happened for years, I guess ever since about 2002, well, even before then, <clears throat> probably about 1998, there, therein, 1998, I began to see smoke fill a room or smoke come upon an area as I grew strong in spirit, and I think about Isaiah 6, where the glory of God filled the temple, his robe filled the temple, and I've actually seen this and put a testimony up with my own visible eyes that I actually witnessed about five, six years ago while I was in a sanctuary at the, in the balcony. I saw this, and also I've seen it in different times in my life. I see it frequently, but especially lately, I saw, I've seen it frequently, like over this past weekend, is Rich and I were watching television. As we were watching television, I just saw smoke fill the screen. Like, what was going on on the other side of the screen and everything was fading away. Everything was fading away. And all I could think of is the glory of God, is the glory of God. And that we have to be so strong in spirit that the things of this earth are dim, just like the song says, turn your eyes upon Jesus and the things of earth shall grow strangely dim. And I have to believe the author of that song experienced the same thing where the things of this earth grow dim. And I think about the word glory, kabod, kabod in Hebrew, glory, and God's kabod filled the temple. And that word kabod actually means weightiest, weightiness, copiousness, copiousness, where the things of the spirit of God are stronger in us, greater is Christ Jesus in us than he that is in this world. And then God gave me the word weight, an acronym, and he gave me willingly entering into God's holy thoughts, willingly entering into God's holy thoughts. Where's this in scripture? Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts to give you a hope and a future and not to harm you. It is also 1 Corinthians 2, 16. For we have the mind of Christ, the very thoughts and intentions of the Father's heart. And saints, that is love. And that is the removing of a veil upon your eyes that's in the natural. And it is to cause you to see in the spirit. So you willingly enter into God's holy thought. What is holy? It is consecrated, separated. It is pure. It is unadulterated. It is truth. And right now, with all that is going on in this world, 
You cannot judge by your natural eyes, your natural ears. If you're listening to things that are gonna cause you to judge by your natural eyes and your natural ears, you're gonna be deceived every time and you're gonna be weighed down by the heaviness of this world, cloaks of heaviness. <clears throat> and it's gonna be very hard for you. So God wants to give you wisdom to willingly enter into God's holy thoughts to see in the spirit. And I think about 2 Corinthians 3.18, that as we with an unveiled face behold the glory of God, we are being transformed into that image from glory to glory as by the Spirit of the Lord. And so th saints of God, everything down in this world is a mirror. It is a reflection, we with an unveiled face. And God is wanting to unveil our face. He's wanting to remove the heaviness of this world. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. God's ways are higher than our ways. God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. They are holy. And so let God remove the heaviness of this world off of you and lift you up into his holy thoughts and just watch his glory fill your life so you can touch the lives of others. God bless you. I love you and have an awesome week.